Okay, we'll try this time. I'm just beside the router. So, hi, I'm going to try again. As I said, I just put my, I just sat beside the router, so hopefully it will work better. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so what I was talking about is uh, the five uh, questions you should ask when you have your prospects on the phone. So I'm waiting to see who is back with me. Um, oh. So I was just saying that uh, you shouldn't say how are you today because it's very, marketers are always saying that. Uh, don't ask if they are busy, of course they are busy. They are not going to, um, uh, to give you enough time. So just say, uh, I know you're busy, but it will take only a few minutes or um, uh, I'll be brief. So make sure you, um, you, you know that they are also busy as you are. I'm just checking if it's working better. Oh, I don't like when that happened. Yes, it seems to be better now, hopefully. Um, so, yes, yeah, so then don't assume. Um, just ask some questions. I'm going to give you a few questions that you could ask them. And then um, make sure you write all the answers. And then after, you'll be able to give them a solution. So the first question is, uh, where are you now? If they are working, if they want to, um, to get some residual income, if they want to retire earlier. So ask them, where are you now? And what do you expect? Where would you rather be? Question number two, where would you rather be? So, depending on the answers, they might say that um, they would love to be retired earlier or they would like to stop working where they are working. Um, just write all the answer and um, try to, to think after what you're going to tell them. Uh, how will it feel when you get there? So, if they tell you they don't want to work, what, what, uh, how will it feel? Uh, when you get there so that is a third question if you see your prospect not answering the questions no point of wasting your time uh, if they are not serious if they don't really know what they want if they want to be retired earlier or they don't want to work with their job but then after they are not doing anything to help themselves it's um, no point you know wasting your time so that's why the questions are important so you know what um, what to expect after that. So the fourth question, what has been stopping you? So if they are serious, they will tell you, um, you know, what uh, stopped them to, to do their, uh, their dreams, to change jobs, to retire earlier, whatever. So just write out the answers. And then the last question is, how serious are you? Are you willing to work? Are you willing to maybe start with a full-time job, with your full-time job, and work maybe five hours every day? Uh, I just read a blog about it um, this morning, saying this guy was ready to, uh, to quit his job, but he couldn't because, hi, Tom. Um, because but he couldn't quit his job but he really wanted to build a business online so he was just saying on this um, on the uh, on the blog that for one year he, he just slept for five hours he just was at his lunch time he was prospecting he had people on the phone every time he was coming home he was uh, working on his future, on what he wanted to do. So that's why some people are very, they are always want to, to quit their job. They would like to have a happy, uh, wealthy life, but they are not ready to do their uh, part of the bargain. So that's why it's important. Ask these questions. If you see people that they are not going to answer properly or they don't, uh, they're not serious you're not going to to help them if they don't want to help themselves so but if you have prospects that are serious just write everything 
As well, when you have your prospects, um, sometimes you can see their email address that have been used for their Facebook. So it's great to kind of know them before. So if you can put the email address on the Facebook and you can see a little bit of their profile, then it's nice to know them if they have, I don't know, dogs, cats, whatever. Just say something nice about it. So it will make the conversation a bit smoothy and uh, nicer. So uh, that's all I wanted to say. Just uh, when you have people on the phone, keep your posture. Um, if people don't want to listen to you or they just don't want to, um, to work with you, whatever, just uh, you don't need to push anybody to work with you. It's what I'm saying. You don't need. Just keep your posture. Keep positive. Uh, maybe they might not want or maybe they're going to think of all the questions as well you ask them. Uh, if you give them a little bit of solution, but they are not ready, maybe they might be ready in six months. So that's why it's important that you keep your posture and um, you keep them and say, okay, maybe it's not your time right now, but think about it. And then um, you will be able to, uh, to work with me. Just contact me. And I would say when you have someone on your uh, autoresponder or CRM, just um, so you should... Uh, put a note on who you wrote, you you rang and then maybe in about a month, two months time, just uh, give them a little text or ring them back to know how they are and keep contact. Because if they took, um, if they went on your capture page and they put their email address, if they put their phone number, that means they are interested. Uh, maybe they are not ready to push themselves, maybe they are not ready straight away to uh, move forward, but maybe in about months time or two or three months it might be. So that's why it's important to keep contact with them. So that's all I wanted to say. So that was the questions um, that you could ask your prospect. You can ask your prospects when you have them on the phone. If you have, uh, if you don't have uh, the person on the phone, you can always leave them uh, voicemail and it's the same thing just leave your contact just say that you want to talk to them briefly and uh, follow up uh, if um, they enter their email address on one of your trainings or something like that um, it's very important as well that uh, if they they want to think about uh, what you uh, you tell them the solution uh, make another appointment by phone or just don't wait too long just say maybe i can contact you tomorrow two days and then make contact with them again all right uh just check my notes but i think i say everything um i'm sorry about the live earlier that didn't work i did a blog i'm not finished the blog so i'm going to put this video on the blog you i wrote everything so all the question will be there and then you can follow up of course, don't read as a robot. Make sure when you ring them, you are natural, you are yourself. So even if you have to do a video like that and practice, uh, but uh, don't um, just be natural. That's very important that you are natural. All right. Thank you very much for listening. Um, I um, I'm, Again, I'm sorry about the live earlier. It didn't work out well. But uh, I wish you a wonderful day um, and I'll see you tomorrow for day nine challenge. Thank you very much. Bye.